The world is remembering Princess Diana this morning. A lot of people remember where they were when she was killed 20 years ago today in a car crash in Paris. Her death at the age of 36, she was only 36 years old, shocked the world and triggered a flood of grief and anger, too. Princess Diana's sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, visited a growing memorial outside her former home of Kensington Palace. Mark Phillips is now outside Kensington Palace with more on the legacy that she left behind. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Well, the crowds have gathered for Diana again, much smaller this time than they were 20 years ago when this was a scene of mass mourning for the princess. And frankly, it's taken just about that long to try to understand what her life and her death meant. The only official recognition of the anniversary was the brief public appearance of her two sons and William's wife, Kate, in the memorial garden dedicated to Diana and with the small crowd of well-wishers at the palace gate. It was all but a faint echo of the mass expression of public grief that had followed Diana's shocking death. Such a waste, isn't it? I, I think I'm just speaking for everybody, feel like everybody. It's, it's just incredibly sad. Back then, it became more than a tragedy for two young boys. William was 15 and Harry 12 at the time. It was a national psychodrama that seemed to shake the foundations of the monarchy, of a queen who, it was said, had waited too long before acknowledging the nation's sorrow, of the heir to the throne, Prince Charles, the villain of the piece, still being blamed for the breakdown of the marriage and of the people's princess who had seemed to single-handedly drag the stuffy royal family into the modern world and who had more or less become its brand. She touched our hearts in life and death. The fractures in the bond between the royals and the people that Diana's death revealed became the story then. In some ways, though, her death is proving more difficult for them to handle than her life was. 20 years later, the flowers are gone, and that great flood of shock and grief that had swept Britain has long since receded, leaving a kind of sad nostalgia behind. William, Kate, and the kids now live in Kensington Palace, to which Diana had been exiled after the divorce, and all those changes to the monarchy, they turned into mostly a question of style. It just goes to show what a massive figure she was and still is. Royal when correspondent Roy Anika. In terms of press interest, in terms of the way the younger royals go about their job. So she is that linchpin. She does still hold it together. She is still that focal point. Somebody who has not been a focal point lately is Prince Charles, the next king, who has decided, many think wisely, to keep silent during this commemoration. As for Diana's sons, Prince William and Harry, they too have decided to commemorate this event in private. Maurice. Mark Phillips in London, thank you. I remember the way the news traveled back then. You get home too. and turn on the TV versus the smartphone. Yes, me That's too. how we found out. Because it happened in the middle of the night. I remember right. being up. But I like how Mark said sad nostalgia is right. People were so worried about William and Harry at the time. They were so young. Mm -hmm. How are they going to turn out? It's good to see that they've apparently turned out okay. Sure yeah. did. She'd be very proud. At least she would.